Hey everyone, Theme Park Hopping Cajun here in the Theme Park Cajun Kitchen. Welcome to my channel. Today in the Theme Park Cajun Kitchen, I will be cooking a jambalaya. The recipe will be in the description box below. I'll be right back to show y'all the ingredients and then we'll start cooking. Okay guys, this is the seasoning and the meat that I'm gonna be putting into the jambalaya. I have one and a half pounds of smoked sausage cut up. I've got one and a half pounds of boneless, skinless thigh meat cut up. And I used about three or four country style ribs cut up for my pork a pound and a half of that if you don't have the country style ribs see if they got some cut up jambalaya or you can get your couple of deboneless pork chops and cut that up we got four cups of rice two yellow onions one bell pepper cut up and three stalks of celery i'm gonna use some seasoned oil some minced garlic, salt, pepper, and one can of golden cream of mushroom soup. If you don't have the golden cream of mushroom soup where you're at, use some Radcliffe cream of mushroom soup and, I'm a, and a little kitchen bouquet. I'll be back and we'll start in a second. Okay guys, we're back. I have about a half a cup of cooking all in the bottom of the pot here. I'm going to add my chicken in so I can start browning. Get all of that out of there. This is a pound and a half of skinless, boneless chicken thighs. It was, it's about five to six thighs. So I'll let that brown up here. I have the fire set on uh, between medium and high, about a medium high. Gonna let gonna let this brown. Move it around here. I'm browning the chicken so it doesn't fall apart once you put the rice in and start fluffing it up and that way you don't have any stringy pieces of chicken you have whole you have whole pieces of chicken to eat in the jambalaya Get them all, get everything turned over. So it can start pounding on the other side. Once the chicken's brown, I'm going to take it out, put it in a pan of, that I have with some paper towel in it to get the grease out of it. The chicken's going to be the last thing I'm going to put back in.
before I put the put the rice in. Hey, you see it's starting to get a little golden brown. You see it's starting to get that golden brown color. I'm gonna cook it, I'm gonna cook it down so they don't have any red raw pieces. Cook down a couple of more minutes. I don't see any more raw pieces. Looks like everything is cooked. Just about cooked. I'm gonna take this out, put it in a bowl with a little paper towel to drain the grease out. fire down a little bit so it doesn't burn the goodness on the bottom of the pot here. Right, put this on the side. Now I am going to add my pork. I've got a pound and a half of seasoned, I've already seasoned the pork meat up. Got a pound and a half of pork. I'm gonna brown that a little bit till it gets caramel looking color and then I'll add my sausage. If you can't find, you can always get a small Boston butt pork roast and ask the butcher at the store if they can cube it up for you. Or like I said earlier, just get you a couple of boneless pork chops with a little fat on it. And you can cut that, cube that up to make your, to use in your jambalaya. meat is already starting to cook. Let's move it around so it doesn't stick. You want the you want the get the brownness the, the gratin to stick on to, to make on the bottom thing because that's what will give you the color once you add your water or your chicken stock to the jambalaya.
just want to get a little brown on it. Because once you cook it, once you get it, add your water and all to it after you cook down your seasoning and, every, and everything. The meat's going to cook. I usually cook mine till the pork gets kind of fork tender. Then I know it's it's done and I can start adding my rice after I do the after I saute the, the onion, celery, and bell pepper down into it with the pork, the sausage, and the chicken. Pork meat is just about ground, I mean brown, not ground. So I'm gonna add my sausage that way it can start browning. This is a pound and a half of cut up smoked sausage. Any kind of smoked sausage that you got in your area will do fine. to start browning here. Let that sit there for a couple minutes. Wish I wish I had smell the vision and y'all could smell this. Smell so good. some of the pork on the side where I can get the sausage where so it'll start browning. cooking all this around so please make sure you go to the channel like the video 
subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when I go live or post a new video to the channel. There you go. My sausage is starting to, to cook down. Be a couple of more minutes and then I'll add my seasoning which is cut up seasoning. I've got two medium sized onions cut up, three stalks of celery cut up, and one whole green bell pepper. I'm also going to put some garlic in it. I'm going to use a big heaping tablespoon of minced garlic. I buy it by the jar. A lot easier that way than trying to find whole garlic and cut it up. looks about right the sausage is going to cook once we while we saute in the onions the bell peppers and the celery i'm going to add the, the seasoning in how y'all like my purple polka dotted bowl Right, mix the seasoning in here, let it start cooking down. I'm gonna keep the video going until all this is kind of sauteed down. Want to see the actual pro process? Till right before I add, the, I'm gonna add the water after everything is browned. Need to cook the cook the onions and the celery and the bell peppers all down. You don't want to add your garlic too early because it could burn and give it a bitter taste. Got it cooking down. You see it's starting to starting to make a little juice. The onions, the celery, and the bell pepper starting to cook down. You want to get it to where the onions are almost translucent or it makes uh start sweating them down. Start low and slow. How you that's how you get the best jambalaya and they're not lying. I'm doing this on the stove. I know I can I mean it's easy to do on the stove as you can see. You just gotta take your time. I'm using a non-stick roasting pan that I always make my jambalaya on the stove with. It's a lot easier for cleanup, but you can use whatever pot you want. Just gonna that you know how to use, and just watch to make sure your stuff don't start sticking. Too bad. You want some of the you want some of the meat, the meat goldness, so it'll give you that brownish color, so you don't have to add too much 
kitchen bouquet. Okay, we're almost at about the about 20 minutes I've been browning the meat and uh, put the onions, the celery, and bell peppers all in. We're letting that cook down. down there you see the onions are starting to to get a little translucent it's starting to make a little juice in the bottom from them sweating let this go about another two or three minutes See that steam? Right. I'm gonna add one big heaping tablespoon of garlic. Spread it around. A little bit more. Get that all stirred in. Now I have all the the pork meat and the chicken thighs were all seasoned up at right after I cut them up so I'm not gonna add any more seasoning until I add the water to let it start cooking down and getting a little tender. This onions cooked down and the that garlic get in there. can golden cream of mushroom soup. Stir this in there good. the creek golden cream of mushroom soup incorporated there let that cook a little bit get the rest of the soup out of the can put a little water in it That's 
looking good. I have about eight cups of water here. I'm gonna add it in slowly. I can I can tell on this pot because I've been using I use this all the time. I put about six. cups of water in it. I'm going to put the cover on it, let it come back up to a ball, and, I, and add, taste it and add some seasoning, and then cook it for about until the pork meat gets forked in the way you can stick a fork through it so the meat is not tough. And I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna season this up right now while I'm thinking about it. We'll season all. Don't wanna put too much because the, Cause the the salt the chicken and the pork was already seasoned. Put a little pepper, a little salt. I'm gonna bring this up to a ball and then turn it down on low and cook it until the pork gets fork tender. And I'll be back once it gets back to that point till it gets to the point where I'm going to be adding the rice. Oh, forgot. I'm going to put the chicken back in. Put the chicken back in there, stir it around. And I'll be back once we get everything to the, to where it is to put the rice. And I'll be back. Okay, we're back. This is what it looks like after it's been cooking on low for about an hour. I've tasted it. The seasoning all is right. The pork is fork tender. I am fixing, this is the color you want it. I added a little kitchen bouquet just to get it to this brownish color. I'm fixing to add four cups of rice into it. Four cups of rice. I'm gonna stir this around. Put this on low and cover it for about 30 minutes or so and check it to see if how the rice is coming along. You want the rice to be fully cooked. I'll show y'all what that looks like when I get when it gets to that process. And we'll be back, guys. This is I'm fluffing it up one time. Rice is getting incorporated into the jambalaya. I'm going to put the cover back on and check it in about 15 minutes to see if the rice is starting to cook. And I'll be back. Okay, guys, this is what it looks like. Once the rice is all cooked, you don't want no crunchy rice. Also, you got to remember, once you turn it off and put the cover on it, it's going to still steam and cook. And that's what it looks like. I'm going to let it steam a little while longer. And I'll come back and do the 
show do the taste test, show y'all what it looks like when I plate it up. And I'll be back in a few. Alright y'all, this is what it looks like once it's done steamed and everything, everything's cooked. I'm gonna give it a little taste test. Perfect. The recipe will be in the description box below. Okay, that'll do it for my jambalaya to make a Cajun jambalaya. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you'll know when I post new videos or go live. This is the theme park hopping Cajun saying, Everybody has an imagination, but only you can make your dreams come true. Until next time, see you later. Bye.